Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman is a novel about a socially awkward woman named Eleanor Oliphant who lives a very structured, isolated life. She works in an office and sticks to a strict routine, spending her weekends alone with frozen pizza and vodka. Eleanor's life changes when she develops a crush on a singer and decides to change her appearance to impress him. Throughout the novel, we learn about Eleanor's traumatic past, including an abusive relationship with her mother. Her journey towards healing begins when she and her co-worker Raymond help an elderly man named Sammy, who collapses in the street. This act of kindness leads Eleanor to form new friendships and start to break out of her shell. Eleanor Oliphant is a socially awkward and solitary woman in her early 30s living in Glasgow. She works as a finance clerk in a small graphic design company. Eleanor is meticulous about her routines, she wears the same clothes every day, eats the same meals, and spends her weekends in isolation, drinking vodka and solving crossword puzzles. She has no friends and little interaction with her colleagues, who find her odd and off-putting. Eleanor's life is strictly regulated and lonely. She speaks in an overly formal manner, often using outdated language, which further isolates her from those around her. She believes she is perfectly fine, adhering to her structured life and avoiding any emotional connections. Eleanor develops an unexpected crush on a local musician named Johnny Lomond after attending a concert. Convinced that he is her perfect match, she begins to fantasize about a future with him, despite never having spoken to him. She starts to make subtle changes in her life in preparation for meeting him, including buying new clothes, getting a makeover, and learning about social norms. Eleanor's life begins to change when she meets Raymond Gibbons, the new IT guy at her office. Raymond is a kind, friendly, and unassuming man, quite the opposite of the people Eleanor usually interacts with. One day, while leaving work together, they witness an elderly man, Sammy Tom, collapse on the street. They help him and call an ambulance. This event becomes a turning point in Eleanor's life. Eleanor and Raymond visit Sammy in the hospital and gradually become friends with him and his family. This new friendship brings Eleanor out of her shell, exposing her to new experiences and kindness. For the first time, she starts to understand the value of human connection and friendship. Throughout the novel, it becomes clear that Eleanor has a traumatic past. She has weekly conversations with her abusive and manipulative mother, who is in prison. These calls are a source of great distress for Eleanor, as her mother constantly belittles and demeans her. Eleanor's past is slowly revealed through these conversations and her flashbacks. She was severely neglected and abused as a child, which has left her emotionally scarred. Eleanor's mother is a looming presence in her life, one that she cannot escape. As Eleanor prepares to meet Johnny Lomond, she faces a series of rejections and disappointments. She realizes that her fantasy about Johnny is just that, a fantasy. Her delusions shatter when she sees him with another woman. This realization triggers a downward spiral for Eleanor, leading to a mental breakdown. She stops taking care of herself, stops going to work, and considers ending her life. Raymond, noticing Eleanor's absence, reaches out to her and helps her seek professional help. Eleanor starts seeing a therapist, Maria Temple, who helps her confront her past and understand her emotions. Through therapy, Eleanor begins to process her childhood trauma, her relationship with her mother, and her self-worth. 
With Raymond's unwavering support and her newfound understanding of herself, Eleanor begins to heal. She starts to form genuine connections with others and realizes the importance of human relationships. She also learns to forgive herself and to accept love and kindness from others. In the final part of the novel, Eleanor starts to rebuild her life. She reconnects with her colleagues, forms new friendships, and becomes more involved in social activities. Her relationship with Raymond grows stronger, hinting at the possibility of something more than friendship. Eleanor finally understands that she deserves happiness and that she is capable of being loved and loving others in return. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.